All right, what's going on, people? So 343 have just released two more maps and one more game mode for the Halo, Halo 5 Guardians beta. Uh, so this is one of the maps I'm playing on right now. This map is called Regret. Uh, I will be uploading the other game modes uh, tomorrow because uh, after this video, I'm going to upload the other map on Slayers, which is called Eden. And then the new game mode is called Breakout, which I haven't played yet. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll upload the breakout um, matches on the new map uh, tomorrow. Now, the thing about the maps that they have already shown us is it seems that the map designs seem to lack the creativity uh, that the multiplayer maps from previous Halo games have had. They seem to be pretty much the generic uh, arena shooter type of map you would expect from a generic type of uh, arena shooter you know it doesn't have that creative quality that usually comes with the, the halo games right i still like the maps very much but they seem to lack creativity and seems to be pretty simplistic um even this map regret while playing on it i noticed it just seems like another variation of the original map that they uh, released for the beta uh truth um, you know, the one that has all the neon purple all over the place and it's just like a huge circle. Uh, yeah, the map is pretty much just a huge circle with the energy sword in the middle. So it's just a circular arena. And this kind of seems to be the same thing with just a few different, a, a slightly different design. Um, and I'm assuming, even though this is a beta, I'm assuming this is like the finalization build of these maps. I assume this is how it's going to look. Uh, upon release when the, you know the real game comes out because even though it's a beta typically when they release beta maps it's it's seldom it's very rare that they actually changed the design of the map so that's why i'm like okay these maps seem to be very similar as i've said i've even played eden the other map they released and it seems to be a variation of empire and i'm and i'm trying to figure out why like why are these maps just seem to be variations uh, they don't seem to be extremely unique, but I guess we'll just see how uh, the other ones turn out and how they look because we're going to see um, they're going to release some more maps. Uh, now, in this map, there's the map, the uh, power weapon that's in the middle is the uh, rocket launcher, but um, it's actually pretty weak. It's it's not I don't think it's the same rocket launcher that's been in the same the past halos. I actually didn't even pick it up during this map because I tried it during uh I tried it out during another um, match and it's not th actually that guy just used it right there it shoots multiple missiles so the fact that it shoots mul multiple missiles you can already assume that it's probably not that strong unless you land all the hits because they're not gonna you know have something powerful and have it shoot multiple missiles out of it you know th th that's the re they made it that way to kind of uh, balance it out um, so I don't I didn't even bother trying it like I said it does good splash area damage but unless you land most of those hits then you're probably not going to get the kill but it would be good for a crowd of guys um now as everybody knows uh, as i've stated many times i'm deeply enjoying the beta having a lot of fun with it right seems to be pretty balanced definitely looking forward to you know when the game comes out the end of this year but there is one factor that you can never really predict and is always a possibility of ruining the, ruining the game and that variable is the online community because I don't agree with the way some people play and I know yeah people are entitled to play the way they want technically I can't say there's a right or a wrong way I believe camping is the, the wrong way to do things but you know you're gonna have those people that, that do that regardless right and you know like I said, they've, they've, I feel like they've, look at that guy, he was shooting like all the rounds at me with the launcher and I just like walked right through it, right? You can create a very balanced game and it still gets ruined by the community. As I tweeted very recently, I said the number one cause of, you know, an online multiplayer game being ruined is the community, right? Because they just have no respect for, for the game. They're just, they just, they're just scumbags. They're bottom feeding leeches. Like that's the only way to describe them. Like they, they come from the worst corners of the earth. They're, I hate them, right? So 
And the reason I brought I bring this up because on Empire, even though I like the map Empire, it's it's I've grown to kind of hate it already because of the way people play it. What people do now, understand, Halo is about map control, you know, that's the strategic aspect of it, where you are on your map and where your teammates position your, um, themselves on the map matters a lot because, you know, there's that has a lot to do with flanking, uh, cornering the other team, having them pinned down and everything like that. So it's about map control, positioning, uh, under that umbrella fall, also falls... Uh, you know, weapon control, power weapon control, being able to obtain uh, and control those weapons so the other team doesn't have that advantage of the power weapons. And by the way, in this game mode, uh, or at least on these maps, you start out with the uh, battle rifle. So these are battle rifle loadouts that they put on these uh, maps. Um, so that's what Halo's about, right? And I have no problem with that. I like that about it. But some people take that to the extreme and think that means that they have to play a certain way right because I was playing on Empire like I said and pretty much what I've encountered is a lot of teams are starting to basically camp the uh, so let me turn down my phone pretty much camp the outside uh, part of the map where the sniper rifle is at that's what people have started to do like whole teams the whole team was camping that part they all had DMR uh, DMRs um, battle rifles and you know one was Hoarding the uh, sniper rifle and they were just staying at the back of the map didn't even uh, not even attempting To possibly move around literally that team did not see the inside of Empire They did not go inside not once they just stayed at the back of the map waited for us to come to them And I just feel like you're a scumbag if you do that like listen It's a it's a pubby match which means public match for those of you who, who don't know it's a public match, which means it means literally nothing. You're not playing on MLG, right? You're not playing in a tournament for money. In those situations, like I understand, they have to play like that. Very tight, uh, you know, very um, accurate, sometimes slow paced, and you know, you gotta make precise movements, right? But this is a beta in a public match, and people are playing like that. I'm like, bruh, for real? For real, you're camping on a beta in a public match like, like you are the worst scumbag on earth I will never understand it I, I can never understand it like I said you can play Halo the right way and still not be a scumbag I'm not saying just randomly run around the map uh, like a chicken with its head cut off no that's stupid you're gonna get killed you can play smart but still move around the map it doesn't mean you gotta camp in one corner and wait for the power weapon to spawn Right? Even people, some use a sniper use a sniper rifle as an excuse to stay in one spot. I've seen people run around the map with the sniper rifle and get plenty of kills. You're probably just not good enough to do that. So that's my whole thing. Like you can play the game very smart without ruining the experience and camping. And it's probably a lot of these COD guys migrating to this game. And you know, honestly, that's one reason I'm glad. Uh, COD comes out every year because it keeps these scumbags in their natural habitat on COD instead of migrating to every other game and just in, in, infesting it with their presence. Just plaguing another online community with their, you know, with their behavior and, and, and their tendencies. But that's another story. We're not going to get into that. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.